Okay, the last question, question 23, is all about stationary points. We're given uh, that y equals the function of x, and dy by dx equals minus x, brackets x minus 2 all squared. And we're given also the stationary points are a 0, 4, 3, 0 and 4 thirds, and 2, 0. Now you've got to remember that this point here, dy by dx, is the change in y, very small change in y, very small change in x, which is the gradient. Okay. Now at the stationary points, the gradient is 0. So we're going to have a horizontal line. So um, it says determine the nature of each stationary point. If it said in the question, um, determine whether it's a maximum or a minimum, I would probably think the easiest way to do this would be to differentiate again and do the second differential. Uh, but in this case, it says determine the nature. That means we might have a point of inflection. So you can't do the second differential in this part. So what I'm going to do is look at either side of the x value. So we've got x equals 0 and we've got x equals 2. So let's have a look. x equals 0 and look at the values either side of that. Easy one. So let's pick uh, x equals minus 1. We don't have to do actually x equals 0 but I like 2. So we've got x equals minus 1 and Let's put this down here. X equals naught and x equals 1. Let's have a look at those. So x equals minus 1 and we'll put this into here, the gradient. So we've got minus x. So minus minus 1 brackets minus 1 minus 2 all squared. All we're doing is replacing the x with minus 1 into here. So let's simplify this. Minus minus 1 is 1. And then minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3, all squared. Uh, minus 3 all squared is 9. Times 1 is 9. So we get a gradient, positive gradient, like that. So it's a positive gradient. Now this one, if we've done it right, it should be horizontal because it tells you it's a stationary point. So I'm just going to put it in to just check. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it anyway. So minus naught, brackets, naught minus 2 all squared. Now, you can see from here, we're going to get whatever this value is, we're multiplying it by nothing. So we're going to get equals 0. So that means it is a stationary point, horizontal. Then we'll try x equals 1. So minus 1, brackets, 1 minus 2, all squared. So let's simplify that. Minus 1. 1 minus 2 is minus 1, all squared. Minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1, times by another minus 1 equals minus 1. So that's neg negative. So it goes that way. So you can see the shape of it, we're going to get a maximum. So x equals 0, x equals 0 is a maximum. Okay, now the, the next part, we're looking at x equal, either side of x equals 2. We've already done x equals 1, so we might as well leave that. So x equals 1, and then I'll do x equals 2 here, and x equals 3. So we'd say x equals uh, 1 is a negative gradient. x equals 2 should be um, a stationary point, so it should be equal to 0. So let's just check this. Put that in there. Minus 2, brackets, 2 minus 2, all squared. So we'll get 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 squared is 0, so 0 times anything is 0. So that's going to equal 0. So that's confirmed it. That's going to be straight across stationary point. Let's try 3. So we'll put 3 in here, minus 3 brackets uh, 3 minus 2 all squared. Simplify this, minus 3, 3 minus 2 is 1 all squared. So let's see, we've got 1 times 1 is 1 times minus 3 is minus 3 which is negative which that means it goes that way. So you can see it's going to, from the, the 1, 2 and the 3, it's going to go across and down and across. And it's like that. That is a point of inflection. 
So uh, x equals 2 is a point of inflection. So that means we've got the coordinates x equals naught, so that means naught comma four thirds is a maximum. And we've got this one, two zero is a point of inflection.